Right, welcome back and to highlight uh, the uh, visit we have with us over the phone. His Excellency uh, Ambassador Mohammed Al Arabi, former Foreign Minister. And good evening to you, Your Excellency. Good evening. Hi, how are you? I'm fine, thank you so much. And um, the Egyptian uh, United Arab Emirates relations have remained for 50 years and uh, a model for the Arab uh, uh, relations, bringing together strong ties between both. Uh, uh, countries at all levels. Um, how do you how do you view the importance of uh, today's visit of President Abdel Fattah Sisi to the United Arab Emirates and uh, the timing and significance of this visit? Uh, I believe uh, it is you know part of our efforts to enhance the Arab solidarity in this critical moment which we are facing uh, a lot of challenges and different issues from the climate changes to terrorism to economic crisis to lack of energy, lack of food, many things actually. So I think uh, this visit, it will give a sort of impetus to the Arab solidarity and how we can, uh, you know, cope to uh, face all these uh, kind of challenges. And I think uh, the two countries, they are uh, considered them as pillars of the Arab um, efforts to have a joint strategy to face all these problems. Mm. Lately, uh, uh, Egypt, uh, Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates, among other three uh, uh, countries, have joined the BRICS. How does this uh, uh, put uh, uh, more frameworks for uh, countries to work all together in this, uh, within this framework? Yeah, I think uh, this is one of the files which will be discussed, uh, you know, during this summit. Uh, both Egypt and uh, the Arab Emirates now they are uh, uh, full members of the BRICS, uh, starting from the uh, 2024. And uh, this kind of uh, membership, I guess, uh, it will need more uh, uh, cooperation and more even. Uh, uh, discussion in order to uh, have a certain position to, uh, in this uh, strong group and how we can enhance the economic relationship between the members of the BRICS and uh, for the benefits of uh, each country, of course. And in the meantime, I think uh, Egypt and the United Arab Emirates they enjoy a, a good uh, economic relationship uh, since many years. And this might be one of the pillars of the works of the tracks in the future. Uh, your Excellency here, how, do you, how important is it for the Arab world to come together and unite their stance uh, 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 before the, the challenges, the enormous challenges, the whole world or the global and the regional challenges that the whole world uh, is facing? We have in the Arab world uh, many uh, privileges and many uh, important uh, aspects to, that we can uh, participate in this uh, kind of uh, new world order and the new uh, world uh, economic order also. Um, uh, the region is uh, the main source of energy in the different uh, types. And uh, that's why I guess uh, the, a lot of uh, countries now they are trying to pave the way for more cooperation with the countries uh, like Egypt, Saudi Arabia, United Arab Emirates, Qatar, and many other countries. Because all of us, we are the main sources of the different types of energy in the world. So um, this uh, gave uh, you know the the, uh, the region more important uh, situation. And uh, when we are looking to the uh, countries which uh, now join the BRICS, I think you can see that uh, those countries, they are enjoying a great deal of stability and uh, progress. Uh, uh, I mean economic progress, of course. Uh, that's why they were eligible you know, to join this important uh, group. Indeed, indeed. Uh, finally, here, if I may ask you here about the distinguished relations between the United Arab Emirates and Egypt, particularly in uh, 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 within the framework of uh, the uh, enormous cooperation on the economic field. Um, I think uh, the two countries also playing an important role in the uh, region. Uh, they are trying to tackle all the. Uh, 
chronic problems which are prevailing in the region since many years in a uh, sort of peaceful uh, means. And uh, this is part of the uh, compatible uh, diplomacy of the two countries that they always seek uh, you know, a peaceful solution for all the problems. They are uh, always against using force to solve any kind of uh, disputes. And uh, we have many files actually overlapping between the two countries, like Libya, the Ethiopia Dam, the Sudan, uh, Yemen, Syria, many things actually. So I guess this uh, summit it will discuss all these files, and uh, I'm sure it will have a sort of a good product in order to pave the way for peaceful solution for all this chronic uh, crisis. Your Excellency Ambassador Mohammed Al Arabi, uh, former Foreign Minister, thank you so much for being with us and for your input here. And before we move on with our discussion, let's have a very quick break and we'll come back for more discussion.